Hi, I'm Carl Erickson. We're out here at Tier 1 Group again. We're with Chad Mormon, the head driving instructor. And, uh, you know, you see it in the movies all the time. There's a bullet hole in the radiator, and they get out, and they, they kind of fiddle with it a little bit, and then somebody stands up, they pee in the radiator, and off they drive. You know, can you patch a bullet hole in the radiator? Yeah, you can, but there's just a little bit more to it. Uh, Chad, you want to take us through it? Sure. Um, well, one of the biggest issues with actually patching the holes in the radiator is getting to it. Is it on the front side? Is it on the back side? Is it all the way through? Uh, a lot of times I might have to rip the plastic grill off the front of my vehicle to actually get to it or trying to mingle my hands down behind the fans. It does take a little bit of time, okay? Um, we've all heard the stories and saw the videos and shows of, hey, uh, eggs and putting pepper down in it and everything like that. Yes, it does work, um, but this is a little bit better fix than that. So we have a radiator that's up here. It's already taken out so you can kind of get a little cleaner shot of it. Uh, they actually are three AK rounds that were shot through this. Uh, if you look over here, one of them, it actually went between the rows. So these lines that run all the way across are the rows. The in between those rows are the actual fins. So we can see it actually went between the rows and actually didn't hit anything, which is actually good for you if this did happen to you. This one came in and actually messed up two of the rows on the top and bottom. And this is the exit of one of the, another one, and it actually messed up a lot more of them. So this is actually the one we're gonna be fixing. All right, now Chad, when you talk about that, these, these horizontal lines that look a little bit thicker, those are not just lines of metal, those are actual flat tubes that are carrying the fluid. Right, that's where the fluid is flowing through to get them cooled back off of horizontal. And back through the, the vertical fins in between those flat tubes, they have no fluid in them at all. They no. just anticipate it. The ones uh, that heat. are in between, it's just to dissipate heat, like you said. Awesome, awesome. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. That's a big hole. Big hole. Yes, it is. Let's, cool. let's patch. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and lay it down. Uh, normally, you'll see a lot of people doing it with uh, some stuff they may not have out or down range. Uh, we're actually gonna do it with a Leatherman, okay? So if you come in, what we actually need to do is we're actually gonna crimp off the rows that the fluid go in. So I need to clear out, and rip out some of the fins on each one, and then I'm actually gonna take the row and start crimping it and rolling it up on itself. So we'll go ahead and start to do that now. They tear out fairly easy. You want to make sure you're getting all the way through the radiator. Pull it back to make sure you got enough room to work with. That one's not all the way cut, that row's not yet. So get down in there and cut it completely across. There we go. All right, so you would essentially do the same thing to the other side. Um, but from there, all I'm going to do is start folding it over on itself, like you would kind of do an empty tube of toothpaste. making sure you get it good and crimped all the way down. And you don't want to do just one roll. You'll put a couple of them into it. So there's two rolls on that row. Um, from there, if I'm still worried about it, losing a lot of liquid uh, or cooling out of it, then that's when I could go to get some of my quick drying epoxy, my JB Weld or something that you should probably still be carrying down range. Uh, if you're not, you should be carrying it down there, not just for this application, but other applications. Do you, do you like JB Weld or are there other products you prefer? The quick drying epoxy, I mean, it could be JB Weld, it could be another name brand, but uh, I'm typically after stuff that's gonna dry a lot quicker than take a couple of hours. Okay. 
All right, so you would now clear out the other side, do the same on the other side. Same thing would be done on the other side. All right, so basically how radiator works is the, the fluid comes in on this side, this plastic side, and all that fluid from this pipe travels through these flattened tubes. All of them dissipates all the heat, comes over here, comes back out through that hose. All we're doing is rolling off just the, we're just blocking the ones where that bullet hole was. We're losing a little bit of effect, yeah, but it's, uh, that fluid can still flow through the rest of the radiator. This vehicle can be fully functional uh, by it, him just simply using his Leatherman right there. Patching it can be quickly done once you get access to it. This vehicle's back off, uh, back out, ready to get back on the road. All right, um, anything else you want to add? No, sir. Gents, you watch this video, it, is it really as easy as using your Leatherman? Yes and no. Yes, it can be for a pro that's done it a bunch of times, right? But you just watching this video ain't gonna help you a lick, right? You wanna be one of those internet ninjas that just watches this stuff, that's fine. Okay, you can tell your buddies how awesome you are, but at the moment of truth, when you're out uh, elk hunting and there's snow coming down or whatever, you're out in the middle of the desert, and uh, you run a stick through the middle of your radiator, that is not the time to be learning how to uh, fix your uh, different repairs on your vehicle. You need to learn how to do this from a pro. You come down to tier one group, we'll sign you up for one of our courses. You'll train with the best. He's gonna have every student do this. You're not just gonna be watching one person do it. You're gonna get your hands on. You're gonna actually learn how to do this. Great, great. Uh, Great quick class chats, awesome. He's got lots of other mad skills to teach us down the road. If you like the video, comments down below. Other than that, come sign up for a course down at Tier 1 Group.